Hello, my name is Joseph Lee. I graduated from the University of California at Berkeley in applied math and physics. And I'll be discussing a physics H7B midterm problem in the physics department at Berkeley. It's considered a, an advanced physics class. And I'll be discussing a, uh, the Carnot efficiency equation. Uh, please note that the efficiency of a Carnot efficiency equation or the Carnot engine sh will never be 100%. Basically, the energy efficiency, conversion co efficiency is the ratio between the useful output of the device and the input in energy terms. So, um, so you can think of TC as temperature cold and TH as temperature hot. And the temperature TC to, to make a 100% uh, efficient uh, engine or device, TC will be zero Kelvin while TH can be any high temperature like uh, like uh, a thousand Fahrenheit or a thousand Celsius or ke uh, Kelvin. Well, TC will be zero Kelvin. But please note when you calculate the Carnot efficiency equation, TC and TH have to be in units of Kelvin, not Celsius and Fahrenheit, because the lowest temperature in Kelvin is our is theoretically set at zero Kelvin, while the lowest temperature on the Celsius degree is around negative 270 degrees Celsius. So this is the ideal gas law. P is pressure, V is volume, and N is the number of moles, and R is the ideal uh, gas constant, and T is the temperature. Before we discuss further, let's simplify our midterm problem to by setting NR equals 1. And here is the midterm problem. Pressure, the maximum pressure along this triangle is 2 atmosphere and the lowest pressure on this triangle let's say is 1 atmosphere. And the smallest volume on this PV equals NR T curve will be one meter per meter cube, while the highest volume, the largest volume, will be two meter cube. So, so we can think of this is the, di the di PV equals NRT uh, curve of, a, of one engine following this uh, work heat um, um, this PV equals NRT um, curve uh, graph of some kind of engine. And here, this curve right here has a constant temperature. We can let's assume that TH is along this curve. And you can see that that um, TH will be larger than TC along this curve. And we can think of this curve as an isothermal, as an isothermal path, isothermal path, and the iso means same, and thermal can be like temperature. And TH here will be the same as the TH on this path right there. So let's assume, let's pick this TH to be set at volume as 2 meter cube and pressure as 1 atmosphere along this curve. So, and we assume that TC, although the, it doesn't really matter which PV you pick, but the reason why you will pick this PV point is, is, is that it's the easiest uh, PV value you can think of along this isothermal path where you can get the midterm problem answered correctly and quickly. So um, the TC will be set at one meter cube and, um, and the pressure will be one atmosphere. So TC will be one 
and then TH would be 2, and efficiency is 50%. But ha, I fooled you. The answer is wrong. And this is how I solved my, my physics problem in H7B incorrectly. The efficiency is not 50%. And let me tell you why the answer is completely wrong. Because TH should be in the middle of this triangle right here. And the red curve along this red path is really the wrong TH because this TH right here has a larger value than this T value on this isothermal path right here. So TH would be in the middle of this triangle while TC would be at the bottom of the triangle. So 3 half or 1.5 will be the midpoint of this uh, triangle along the volume and 1.5 will be the pressure value midpoint uh, on this triangle right here. So TH and so TH will be right here. 3 half times 3 half which is 2.25 and TC will be 1 and the real correct efficiency is 55.56% and this is the correct answer and here is the midterm score I got like a 70% and my professor who gave this midterm problem made a 90% and my friend Tony Gyo uh, made a perfect score actually Half of the class in the physics H7B class um, got a perfect score, and this concludes my presentation. Thank you.